Hello and happy Halloween on this beautiful Saturday day. This is Tanya, Captain Tanya to you today, um, for Proof Weight Loss Surgery Works. Um, today's, look I'm not, look I just said all that now and I lost my train of thought. Okay, um, today's topic is do you PB, which is productive burping, um, do you dump, um, do you slime? Hmm. Okay, since I am a lap band patient, I do not dump. I slime and I productive burp. Those things happen when you either eat too much and you're totally overfilled, or overfilled, not overfilled, overfilled. But it can't happen if you're overfilled. Anyway, um, if you're overfilled, if you've eaten too much, um, it could be that you haven't chewed your food up well enough. It could be that you were eating too fast. And it could be the type of food that you're eating. Um, any one of those things can make you do that. Actually, to tell the honest truth, water can make you do that. I've, I've, <laughs> I've done it on water. I have actually thrown up on water because either the water was too cold, cold. I love cold water. The water's too cold, or um, whatever. I mean, it, it, it doesn't matter. I mean, definitely, you need to stick to the rules, especially of lap band. You need to stick to the rules of lap band, which is eating slow, actually using fork, eating, putting that fork down, chewing your food, taking time, mm, 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 it's all good, yeah, it's all good, then taking another bite and eating, that's the way you should do it, you should take your time, you should, um, 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 be, be, um, tentative to the food that you're eating, make sure that it's moist, make sure that it has, um, that it's not dry, because dryness can, since we can't eat and drink at the same time, that dryness can definitely get you stuck. And let me tell you, getting stuck is like one of the worst feelings in the world. I've had it where I've eaten and it's gotten stuck right about here and you feel it in your chest and it will not go down. You, I mean, you can, and I, my, when I do it, I feel like I can't breathe and I'm constantly trying to take a breath because I feel like it's stuck and it's like blocking my airways or it can get down at the bottom and you can feel it like, like you could feel the food going down your system and it just is not going through. Um, also, what I've actually experienced in the last oh, two or three weeks is the gurgling. I get the gurgling a lot. And it's usually because right after fill, you don't, you're not really mindful. You keep thinking that you can eat the same way when after fill, it's a whole other set of rules. You should be on liquids. You should be on mushies. You should be really taking your time eating specifically at this point. You don't want to um, totally um, start chowing down like you normally would for a lap band patient or even a, a, a bypass patient. So you have to take your time with it. So um, it's not fun. It's not, I've had, actually I've had a couple episodes where I normally don't do it a lot, but I've had a couple episodes to where, you know, the only thing I can do is throw up and I'd rather, and I'm kind of the one that will, will resist throwing up at all costs because I hate it. But since I've become a lap band patient, get that stuff up out of there. Let's let's chunk it up, okay? Because it's the worst feeling in the world, and you can't. You're not content. I mean, I, I've had fits where, especially at work, if you're if you're at work and you're sitting at a desk and you have to go back and forth because your mouth is salivating. Let me tell you, okay, I'm going fast because I, I want to get all this in. When you um, get stuck, for me, my mouth salivates a lot. And I mean to where if I just didn't do nothing, my little cheeks would get all fat because of the salivation, and I'd have to go spit it out. Um, and then the whole point is me trying to, I'm trying to throw up. It's not. And, it's, and, it, and you may not be able to do it on the first couple of times. For, you have to take your time with it, you know. But it's, it's, a, it's a crazy feeling, for real. And you, and you want to say, okay, I'm going to make sure I never do this again. But... Just be, just be on the lookout. It can happen with anything. Like I said, water can make you do it. Um, just depending on how tight you are and how fast you're drinking the water and if the water's cold. A lot of times you can't drink cold things in the morning. I know I can't. Um, it has to be room temperature. And I, then I really have to take my time with it because I will do it. So um, that's actually just one of, one of the pitfalls of having a band. Um, I love my band. I'm not going to lie. I love it to death. Um, um, if I had a chance to do it all again, I would have, I would have did it so much sooner. I'd have done it in my 30s instead of doing it in my 40s. I'd have done it a long time ago. You know, I'm a, let me see, does it make any difference? I don't know. Okay.
Okay, anyway. So anyway. So, um, oh, I'm messing up, but I'm not going to do this over again. So anyway, ladies and gentlemen, have a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful um, Halloween. Oh, let me show you what I look like because, of course, you have to get the full essence of the pirate. Okay, let me back up a little bit. This is the pirate outfit. This is my sexy outfit. This is actually H and H, H for H. I don't know if y'all know that, but this is part of that. This was my sexy outfit. So let me just do a little. Oh yeah, sexy baby, sexy bitch, as Wendy would say, sexy bitch. Okay, so. Okay, everybody, have a wonderful Halloween. Be safe. Eat. Don't eat a lot of candy. Taste one or two, and then put it away and leave for the kids. So um, with that note, I got to go to my party. I will holler at everybody later. Have a wonderful week, and I will see you next Saturday. Bye.